Today in this lecture we will see project catalog. In project catalog basically we have those projects which are ready to use and with the minimal customization we can sell those projects to our customers. These projects basically empowers you to list ready to purchase projects that can be customized for both your client and business needs. In this you can craft up to 20 projects. In this you can set your own cost timeline and package of deliverables one more benefit you get by using this project catalog tab is land more contracts from a single project which means you can sell one project to multiple users by minimal customization so it definitely attract more of the work you enjoy now let me show you it practically first I'm here on the landing page of Upwork now I'm going to click on my project dashboard now it's landed directly on project catalog but as we haven't any project in catalog so we can't see any project let's create our project in the catalog and click on the create a project button first we have to return title of the project and you need to remember one thing that your title should be self-explanatory here we have different categories and we need to select one of them so let's Browse it and select development and IT. And then next when we narrow down this category, then we need to select QA testing. Next we need to select one type of testing. And next we need to select the device. Next we need to add the searching tag. Let's click on save and continue. Now here we can define three types of price and scope. First one is starter, second is standard and third one is advanced. Now you can define according to your own perspective but here I think I can give you the basic idea that in starter we can provide basic functionality and uh, according to our basic functionality we define our price and then in standard it's more than the starter and according to that we define price of standard in advance we provide advanced features and according to that we ask for the price so just to make you understand i'm going to fill it next we need to define the delivery days for these three scores then we can define how many reviews we can provide to our client then we can define the time of screen recording like for the starter we are providing 2 minute screen recording for standard 3 minute and for advanced 5 minutes obviously you can change according to your own project next we can share which unit test we are providing to the client next another important thing you need to define the price of these 3 scopes Price definitely directly proportional to the complexity of the project and the services you are providing to the client or customer. So according to that you need to mention the price in these three scopes. Next we have add-ons. These are optional but you still can add them. Here if we choose fast delivery then I need to mention here if my delivery days will be 3 then I will charge extra $100 and if standard delivery days will be 5 then I need $200 extra and in case of advance I will charge $300 extra for 10 days so in this way you can add different add-ons so let's save and continue next we have gallery in this gallery we need to upload the project's images these images shouldn't be blurred As you can see by this image, we can clearly see what we are doing in this project. Selenium Automation Testing. Next you can add video of your project which will maximum of 90 seconds. Next you can upload sample documents related to your project. Next there is a requirement section where you need to tell the client what you need to get started. For example for this Selenium project I can write type of website you need testing for and this requirement should be mandatory. And exactly like this you can add more requirements. 
again save and continue next we need to write the project description now this description shouldn't be very long or very short and in this you need to describe your project comprehensively so that client understand it exactly the way it working next there is project steps we can add different steps according to our project for example here i'm adding according to mine then there is a question answer section you can ask question here then again click on save and continue in this next step we need to define maximum number of simultaneous project and then we need to check our terms of services and privacy notice then finally we need to click on submit for review and then click on send to review and now it's sent to upwork and maximum within one day upwork review it and publish it on our dashboard so like this we can add up to 20 projects in our upwork catalog hope this video helps you to explore the project catalog of upwork if you like it then guys like subscribe and share my channel thanks for watching